Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lions Challenge Runs in the Binding of Isaac. Doing a classic for you today that you'll probably be able to notice as soon as I click this button. There we go. So we're going to be doing the Two-Face Run. And again, we're going to be using a Canadian quarter here. Because i got to represent the home country, you know. If you're not familiar with the Two-Face Run, this is the second run of this type that I've done. And basically, the premise for this is that everything is normal, but it's not nearly a vanilla run. It's not even close, in fact. Instead, what we are doing is basically all item rooms, deals with the devil, etc, etc. Oh, maybe not deals with the devil, because that doesn't really make sense. But uh, item rooms, shops, etc. Uh, are available to us. However, uh, we don't get to choose what items we get. Instead, we leave that up to the god of the random number generator, essentially. So, if we flip heads, we're going to take the item. Whereas, if we flip tails, we are going to get rid of the item. Uh, the one exception being that we can't change our spacebar item, which is the D6 with infinite item power right now. So that, you know, if we get like... Eight tails in a row, we can still continue flipping over and over and over. In any case, we're gonna get started here. The last time I did this, I can't remember how it turned out. I thought it went fairly well. It just got uploaded today, and everyone's going like, like the top comments are not challenge runs, which is never a good sign. They're all like, Northern Lion wants a full health pill, but then he left a bad trip pill on the floor, and I'm like, oh fuck. How could you be so stupid, me from six days ago? Anyway, we're gonna take this key and move onwards here. We got a big floor, uh, because we're dealing with Curse of the Lost, in case you. Well, I guess you wouldn't have seen the start of this anyway. The way the, the, the cheat engine goes, uh, and the reason why these runs almost always start with me actually, like, being in a room... I'll explain that in just a second. First things first, we're just gonna go in here. Okay, so we have Lemon Mishap, we can't take it anyway. So this is an automatic reroll. Can't take Book of Sin. We could take, uh, SMB Superfan. This is a great item. So we're just gonna bring up our, uh, random.org here. Please be heads. Heads take, tails, you reroll. Heads. Beautiful. Okay, so that's a good start for us. We're gonna take... SMB super fan continue onwards on our merry way here so this is gonna give us a little extra damage a little extra speed a little extra of every stat really uh, and next time we're gonna use the uh, two-face model here oh you know what we were supposed to have chemical peel as well to make it work but whatever it doesn't really make a difference I did chemical peel for the uh, the first two-face run because it does give you that uh, you know the visage of a two-face if you will like uh, the Harvey Dent or, you know, Tommy Lee Jones, Aaron Eckhart, etc, etc. I can't remember who played Two-Face in the, like, 1960s Batman TV show. But anyway, we're gonna fight our boss here. I'm already digging. Now we're not Two-Face. We're, like, one face, but our whole body is burned. It's as if there, it's an alternate history of what happened, you know, two-thirds of the way through the Dark Knight. So we're gonna kill Pin here fairly quickly. I enjoy this run a great deal because it kind of takes, not the responsibility out of my hands, that's not really what I mean by that, but that's the way I'm going to sort of explain it. But it kind of means that the game is in control of, of how well I do with respect to everything but, uh, you know, the actual, like, mechanical dodging and shooting, which I like because it means I can kind of focus on uh, just playing Isaac, essentially. I don't have to worry too much about overarching strategies or, you know, is X item better than Y item. All I have to do is, you know, deal with the cards that I'm dealt. Uh, the best that I can. It's kind of like real life in that way. That's why I like Two-Face. The Two-Face Isaac run is the most reasonable approximation of what real life is like. Mark it. Okay, we got Tails. That means we re-roll our HP upgrade. This is Pageant Boy. I hate this item. And we're gonna re-roll it again. You can look at the timestamps if you think I'm cheating. Squeezy's pretty good. And we're gonna take it. Awesome. So we're gonna get a Tears upgrade and a couple of Spirit Hearts that will probably uh, be lost by the end of the next floor. Again, I don't really understand how I would do deals with the devil. My thinking would be like, because here's the thing, there's only like 25% of items I can get from a deal with the devil that I actually enjoy at all. Uh, so I would have to like walk into the room, decide what I want, and then decide on re-rolling it. But what if, or like what if, um, you know what, he deserves two cents. We'll just see if this works out for us. Sometimes it does. Well, one cent for a key is a fair trade. Two cents for a key is a fair trade, quite frankly, so we're going to leave. Um, yeah, so I walk in, let's say there's a mom's knife, I want to pick it up. I go to the coin flip, and I flip tails, which means I have to re-roll it. This is some tough dodging, just give me a second here. But what happens next? Like, I re-roll mom's knife, it's not something I want. Do I have to take it at that point? That's the, the question. Wow, fetus in a jar, or epic fetus. Please be heads. Heads we take, tails we flip. Oh my god, are you kidding me? We're re-rolling the best item in the game. Now it's dad's key, which I can't take. Automatic re-roll. Uh, one up. Still tails, okay. Maybe we'll get fetus in a jar again. Can't take unicorn horn. Uh, we could take spider bite. That's a really good item. No, we're gonna re-roll it again. The random god has spoken. Onk. And we re-roll it again. All right, one up again. There we go. So we're gonna take a one up. Could be worse, uh, but 
we really re-rolled all of the items I actually wanted there, which is disappointing. But you know what? Missing out on Fetus in a Jar, or I guess it's Epic Fetus. Uh, missing out on Epic Fetus is not that bad. Because it probably would have ruined the, the fun of the run, if you know what I mean. Like, it would have made it pretty much a foregone conclusion, because nothing after that point would have mattered at all. We would have probably just won, basically, uh, automatically, provided we got enough HP upgrades anyway, which, you know, so far so good on that front. Um, we definitely would not have ever needed to take Deals with the Devil to get our uh, damage up, because basically our damage is fixed at, you know, basically the highest that we could possibly hope for in the game. I don't, I think Fetus in a Jar is not actually the highest damage you could possibly get in the game with a single attack, uh, but it is so good uh, and so consistent that kind of bears mentioning anyway. So we're going to take the Spirit Hearts, that's good so far. I am going to open this chest just to see, so it's a spoon, which is speed up. We're going to flip here. And we're gonna take it. Alright, so that was worth a bomb and a key. I uh, would have preferred another stat, but that's okay. And here we get Monstrous Tooth, automatic reroll. PhD could be interesting. Let's flip here. And that is gonna be something we take as well. Why couldn't you just let me take the spider? Like, nope, oh, I clicked on the coin flip by accident here. I mean, the fetus in a jar I've already spoken my piece on, but the spider bite would have been amazing. The slowing effect on these tiers that are already uh, pretty solid. Oh well. You know, what's done is done. We can't really uh, ex exercise much control over that, sadly. At least it wasn't Sacred Heart. Once we get to reroll Sacred Heart, that's when the Isaac series is going to be over for me. I just came back to Judgment quickly to see if maybe I can get him to pay out. He gave us some bombs. So for four cents, we got a key and two bombs, which is really a fair trade. Especially since one of the keys that we got uh, gave me the key strength, or the safety in my number of keys, uh, to feel comfortable opening that golden chest which gave us a stats upgrade so I guess in the end that worked out fairly well so I gotta thank Judgment for that who knows maybe we end up getting pageant boy on this one end up getting some kind of stats upgrade or a compass from uh, Judgment I hope we don't get pageant boy I think it's a garbage item but if it you know results in us getting uh, the compass then it would absolutely be worth it again the other thing is I don't know how really shops would work here's how I think shops would work uh, with my uh, two-face mechanic I go into the shop let's say there's a compass I want to buy it if it's a head, you just buy it. Like, I flip the coin, if it's heads, you just buy it. If it's tails, then you get a new item and you decide whether or not you have to buy it. Although, I guess it would be more fun if I just took it regardless of what it was, provided it wasn't a spacebar item. But, you know, to exercise some control, I think that's the, the smartest thing we can do. Uh, so we're gonna reroll Cat of Nine Tails, hopefully. Please give me tails. Tails? That looks like heads to me. Oh my god, is the internet out? Why are you going to Facebook.com? Plus one Google.com? That's not necessary. Random.org, don't F with me right now. Are you serious? Am I gonna have to get out a real coin at this point? No one's ever gonna believe me. Alright, I think it's working again, so we're gonna flip here. See if it works. It did indeed. And it's heads! Awesome! So we're gonna have to pick this up. Uh, and we are gonna go down to the next floor. I'm glad that... That didn't stay broken, because that would have been really annoying. So, like, I, I'm with Shaw here in uh, British Columbia, and sometimes, I don't know why, I've called them like five times, but uh, our internet cuts out like at least four to five times a week, which is insane. So, you know, Shaw, if you're watching this, uh, get in touch with me, because I would really like to just have reliable internet and stop shit-talking your company in public. Anyway, here we go. Uh, we got Mom's Pad, which we are going to re-roll, which is a speed upgrade, and we're going to take it or leave it. Random.org, you're really messing with me here. Tails, we're gonna re-roll it, okay. Uh, the Rosary, I would like to take this. We're gonna re-roll it again. I can't tell based on the timestamp. I think we re-roll it again, yes. Uh, that's gonna be Brother Bobby. That's a good item, I would love to take that. And we're gonna re-roll it again. Something's up with, uh... Oh, Mom's Knife, take it! Heads, oh, I'm the luckiest guy in the world. I think something's up with Random.org. They're like... Testing Facebook integration or something. So now we have Mom's Knife, and for once, don't blame me. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm just flipping the coins at random.org. Blame random.org. Now with capabilities to, you know, merge with Zynga's Farmville, apparently. Apparently it's a very bandwidth-heavy site. I guess it is loading in the JPEG of the uh, Canadian Quarter every single time. It's probably not even a JPEG. I bet it's a GIF or a GIF. You know that in an earlier Isaac, I mentioned that, like... I say GIF for the, you know, moving image files. People made fun of me and then people were like, well, the creator actually calls them GIFs, so you're actually right for once, Northern Lion. And that felt really good. My friends still got on my case. It was like they were fucking, like, denying that the creator had the actual agency 
to say what his creation should be called. They're like, yeah, well, maybe the creator says GIF, but that's stupid. If the creator jumped off a bridge, would you jump off a bridge? I'm like, hey, man. You know, put your argument in a GIF format and get back to me later, and maybe I will actually take your argument seriously. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Two golden poops on the same floor. Not to mention, uh, this room also has a tinted rock. Oh, man, we have counterfeit penny. And in addition to that, it's like seven cents on this floor. Or on this room, I should say. Oh, did I... How did that poop explode? Maybe I just walked into it with Mom's knife by accident. Uh, so we got a decent amount of extra cash here. I am going to blow up that tinted rock, obviously. How did that guy hit me? I had Mom's knife in front of me. It was the proest of all dodges. Anyway, uh, I'm feeling very good about this run so far, as you might expect. Uh, anytime we get a chance for an item, I'm obviously going to uh, take it. So I'm going to be walking into this mob trap room to see if anything... I'm taking way too much damage here, as you can see, uh, in my play so far. We're going to actually hold on to this key, believe it or not, even after what I just said, because I need this key to go to item rooms on future floors. We might just get jack shit in that mob trap room, so it's not worth it. Counterfeit Penny beats Missing Page, in my opinion, which is not really that good of an item. And I can't believe we're only on Catacombs Part 1, like 11 minutes in. I guess we did have minor technical issues, but still. Uh, that's bad damage on my part, but a very easy fight. I would love to take meat. Please give me a head here. Excellent. And you know what? In spite of uh, giving me a reroll on Epic Fetus, a, like, benevolent force in the universe mandated me feels more like a malevolent force in the universe, actually, but uh, benevolent force in the universe mandated me to re-roll Epic Fetus. Uh, it's been pretty good to me since then, although I would much prefer to be shooting bombs out of the fucking sky as opposed to a knife out of my hands, but I can't really complain in the whole scheme of things. That was probably some of the worst dodging I've ever done in The Binding of Isaac, so we're just going to pretend like that didn't happen. I'm now going to have more than enough money to go to the shop, but again, I have absolutely no idea how my shop mechanic is going to work. I know I explained one earlier, uh, but it kind of doesn't make any sense still. It kind of feels like I should be obligated to buy the item, which, like, if I commit to buying it and then I have to re-roll it, I should have to buy the re-rolled item. But, and then that sounds like perfect world, like, that's the way that it should go, uh, because, you know, the random number generator is my mistress right now, don't tell Kate. Uh, but, unfortunately, it doesn't really work because if there's a spacebar item, then I have to, uh, like, I have to re-roll it anyway, if you know what I'm saying. So we have to re-roll this health upgrade. Now it becomes 10 bombs. I'm definitely going to take whatever the item is. So we'll take 10 bombs. We'll fight our way out of this mob trap room. That's fine by me. We do have this tower card. I don't know when I'm going to use that. Except to say that maybe the tower card... I mean, we're never going to be able to save this until the mom's heart boss fight. But if we did, it would allow us to take out the lasers quickly. Although it would also impair our dodging in all likelihood. So it might not be worth it. Uh, still only... Oh, that was the worst dodging. I don't know why, like, I used to be pretty good at dodging in Isaac. I Stifle your laughter briefly, please. Uh, I used to be pretty good at dodging in Isaac, or better than I am now, at least, today. Uh, although it varies from day to day. Um, but now whenever I try to dodge, I end up just walking backwards in a straight line. And I'm like, well, you know, conscious brain knows that enemies shoot in a straight line most of the time. So that dodge isn't going to really do too much for me. Unfortunately, unconscious brain which is in control of things, most of the time uh, just chooses to do whatever it wants. Unconscious brain, you're so silly. That's why all these comments about how stupid I am should not be directed to my conscious self. They should be directed to the cerebellum, you know, located just above the brainstem, responsible for my base motor function and, like, uh, unconscious, unsentient uh, actions, which is basically where... you know, the center of my Isaac play is right now. <laughs> it's, it's become so automatic Oh, come on. It's, there go, like, the four spirit hearts that we had two floors ago. That's pretty embarrassing. Um, yeah, like, the the logical part of my brain is responsible for making the decisions in Isaac, but everything else is just controlled automatically. It's almost like there's two northern lions. One of them controlling Isaac uh, is, like, a primitive caveman-type creature, and the other one controlling the decisions in the commentary, which is my actual self. Anyway, we're going to see if we have to flip Peeper's eye. Looks like we're going to be taking this item. That's not so bad. We've got a weird assortment of items. Let's just say things that, like this round would be vastly different if I wasn't letting every decision be uh, figured out by a coin flip. Uh, I would definitely have Epic Fetus right now. I'm not sure what else I would be lacking. Probably wouldn't have Cat of Nine Tails. I wouldn't have Mom's Knife in all likelihood because I wouldn't have rerolled uh, what we got with Brother Bobby at least. Anyway, just trying to point out how things. Oh, yeah, just dodge exactly where the bomb's gonna land. Nice. 
With the bombs, you've got to, like, commit to a dodge. What is that? Like, is that a new pestilence thing? I've been seeing that so much more often where he just shoots out, like, 50 bombs at once. Uh, fairly easy fight, though. We are going to get the cube of meat, which is unrerollable. We'll get a spirit heart. And was it a good haul in terms of items? Not really. Uh, but if we get a halo of flies or something, who knows? Maybe this cube of meat will be important for us. Okay, that's a good one. Speed and damage up with growth hormones. So naturally, we're going to reroll it. Uh, to Demon Baby, also pretty good. So naturally, we're gonna re-roll it. Rainbow Baby, also not bad. Sending request. Seriously, random.org, you are botching this pretty hard here. Am I gonna have to Google random.org? Why are you being so terrible right now? I'm gonna have to do, like, online coin flippers search. In any case, I'm gonna abuse the power of editing. Because it appears random.org is actually down. Probably for the first time in 10 years while I'm recording here. So, for the first time in a long time, we're going to have to do some editing in Isaac. I'll be back in a second once I find another online coin flipper. Thanks, random.org. Okay, you guys are not actually going to believe this. But, after shit-talking Shaw, my internet is actually down. So you can see it live and in color here. But, rest assured, the run is not dead yet. I, I'm going to flick it here so you know what I'm talking about. Have a real... Canadian Quarter, believe it or not. Oh my god, the internet's back up. This is some comical shit. This is like the most unprofessional Isaac video I've ever done in my whole life. Maybe it's not back up. Maybe we should just rely on the physical coin. Because the internet is super slow right now. So you know what? I'm going to rely on my physical Canadian Quarter for this. Heads we take it. You're just going to have to take my word for the next few seconds. Uh, heads we take it. Tails we reroll. Going to put it on my hand. Heads we take it. All right, Rainbow Baby it is. And then let's very quickly check random.org here. Just flip again, see if it actually works. A couple times here, just get the... You know, make sure the pipes are working, there we go. So it does indeed work, alright. Well, that was an ordeal. Thanks a lot, Shaw Cable. It's weird, like, I, when I had the cable set up here... Keep in mind, I apologize this isn't related to the Binding of Isaac, but... How did I get hit behind that rock? Um, you know, the Binding of Isaac is as much Northern Line story half hour... Uh, as it is anything else by this point. Uh, but when Shaw set up the internet here, it was really weird, because I, like, I was moving to Vancouver, so we had to get a, a better setup, like, a, not a civilian setup, because I upload, you know, three videos a day, and that takes a lot of, uh, data capacity, and I prefer to have a lot of speed as well, so it doesn't take eight hours to upload videos. Um, but when the guy was setting it up, he was just like, whoa, this is weird. And we're like, what's up? And he's like, oh, you know, don't worry about it, I'm sure I can make it work. I'm like, okay, well, whatever, I, I trust you, you know, you're the, you're the cable guy, you do this for a living. Uh, but ever since he came and set up this, like, new, surprisingly, or, um, supposedly advanced internet, uh, our internet goes out, like, once every three days, I have to sh call Shaw, and Shaw's like, yeah, for some reason, uh, we don't have, like, a record of your account, and I'm like, yeah, you said that last time when I called, this is awful damage, I'm getting incensed with the story, customer service, man, I've worked in customer service before, I know it's shitty, but still, um, what was I going to say? Yeah, they're like, we don't have a record of your account. I was like, yeah, you said that last time. Can you, like, create a record? He's like, no problem, man. Should be the last time you have to deal with this. Enjoy your super fast internet. And I'm like, all right. I'll talk to you in three days when it breaks again for no reason. So, I don't know. It might not even be Shaw's problem necessarily. Uh, but it's incredibly frustrating to deal with. Especially one of the few Isaac runs where I actually require the internet. But again, that's neither here nor there. Everybody's happy now. Hopefully, unless I've made some mistake earlier in the video that people are freaking out about or they're freaking out because I've lost so much health already on this floor, which, you know what, I feel your pain. I'm not feeling too good about the fact that I'm doing very poorly on this floor, but it's because of the shock cable story, man. It got me incensed. So we are on depths part one, which means that we will be... Oh my god, how did I miss so many shots there? Uh, we will be moving on to the uh, mom boss fight soon, which means no more counterfeit penny. We'll be rolling with the Polaroid instead, which is okay. We're not going to be even close to running, uh, like, a permanent invincibility state. I would really like some more red hearts. We're going to pop this strength card on this boss fight because I'm a little bit concerned, perhaps deservedly so, uh, about our chances. It should be okay. We're doing a lot of damage. Uh, but the Fallen can surprise you sometimes. Oh, one's dead. He's surprising me this time by being very easy. We could get a really good item here. Just hope it's not, like, the nail. I'm going to have to reroll it anyway if it is. There we go, he's dead. We gotta deal with the angel. Okay, I wanna take the deal. The deal's fine with me. We're gonna flip. And since random.org is taking forever, I'm gonna stop it. Because my internet's probably out again. 
You're just gonna have to trust me on this one. I promise you. I'm not. I don't gain anything from winning these challenge runs. So just believe me when I'm making these flips. There it goes. It's tails. We have to re-roll it. You know I'm not happy about that. That's a shovel. We can't take it. That's brother Bobby. I would not like to take this relative to other deal with the devil items. It's tails. We're re-rolling it. It's gonna be Guppy's paw. We can't take it. Well, we could, but not sustainably, if you know what I mean. Can't take any of these. Can't take the nail. Can't take Razor Blade. Can't take Guppy's Paw. Can take Rage. This would be an interesting item. I'm gonna flip. Oh, that was weird. Uh, caught it. It's heads. Again, you're just gonna have to take my word for it. So there we have Bloody Lust now. And uh, we're gonna check out our deal with the Angel. And I'm obviously gonna take an item here. It just depends what it is. So the Miter. Flipping. Heads, we're taking it. Alright, I'm happy with the way that turned out in the whole scheme of things. Uh, we're just gonna see if maybe the internet is back. No, it seems to be completely out. Alright, we're gonna do this old school style. Physical coins, imagine that. Can't believe I had any physical coins left. All my money has been converted to bitcoins by this point. To stop, uh, you know, hemorrhaging cash when the inevitable financial crisis of 2015 occurs and... United States dollar drops to the same price as Zim Zimbabwe dollars. I'm just poking fun, by the way. Don't get all bent out of shape. American citizens who might think, or you know, citizens anywhere, who might think I'm, I'm not joking or I'm taking myself too seriously there. I don't know anything about world economics. Or Zimbabwe, really. I apologize if you're a Zimbabwean and, and you think that I'm making fun of you. I'm not, man. Hyperinflation sucks. I don't think, I think it's pretty shitty that the universe, or not the universe, well, the internet, which sometimes feels like the universe, treats it as a running joke that probably sucks for you. I'm sure it causes all sorts of economic hardship. Pretty terrible. Anyway, with the miter, uh, we should be able to amass a little bit more health, which is good, because apparently I'm the worst dodger in the Binding of Isaac history. But our... Oh, careful. Want to kill the enemies that are not bomb flies first, so that when the bomb flies come, I can focus on them. Which is also one of Cosmo's tips for how to please your man, I'm guessing. So we have one bomb fly and one zombie left. The zombie is dead. We have one bomb fly left. And it is dead. That was a really good way to deal with that, actually. I wish I didn't have to use a bomb uh, to get to this heart, but, you know, shit happens sometimes. Looking for our item room and our boss room. There is our item room. So we're looking for our boss room next. And I'm interested to see the one good thing about this run. I think I mentioned this in the last Two-Face video, but is we only get passives on these runs, which is is great for me because I love passive items. I'm just re-rolling everything that is not a passive because we can't take those anyway. So we're seeing what we got here. All right, I forgot that our internet was out. Okay, skeleton key, tails we flip, heads we take. It's heads. I'm not too happy about that because I felt like our key situation was already okay and I would have preferred like some kind of other stats upgrade. That's all right. We're gonna move onwards. I hope that this physical stuff, I mean, I, I prefer when the coin flip is visible on screen. There's not really too much I can do about the fact that uh, the internet is just garbage right now. I apologize for that. Believe you me, it is, uh, you know, more of a pain in the ass for me than it is for you. You know, not being able to upload or view free and readily available pornography in a number of tastes uh, at my fingertips, essentially. So I assure you, it, uh, it's more frustrating from my perspective than it is for yours. But in any case, people have always been suggesting, like, do these, uh, like, challenge runs with real dice. Or a real die, I suppose I should say. It's like, you have a D6, and then in real life you have a six-sided dice as well. Or die, again, I apologize. I know that's a pet peeve for a lot of people. Uh, but I don't give a shit. And if it was, like, you, you'd roll the real die, and then if it was, like, two, you'd re-roll the item twice, and then take whatever it was. Which uh, could work again, but not if you got a spacebar item, which would necessitate rolling it again, I guess. So hopefully, you know, the people that suggested those runs are okay with uh, all that happening on screen. Although I suppose I could have gotten an online die roller as well. In any case, that's neither here nor there. I think I've said my piece on it so far. You got any anger or vitriol towards me for using a coin that you cannot see? Maybe you think I'm cheating? Take it up with Shaw Internet, man! Believe you me, I will be calling them later. I'm also going to stop saying believe you me, because whenever people say that, I always think they're kind of assholes. Just say believe me! We're not speaking in old English anymore. Language has evolutions. Okay, we're going to see what we got. Oh, that, my! I swear to God, my wireless keyboard like acted up for a second there. Okay, so again, we're going to pick up our coin here. Heads we take, tails we re-roll. It is tails, so we're going to re-roll. It's going to give us the ladder. I don't want this. 
flipped. Tails again. It's little Chad. I don't want this. Flipped. Heads. Beautiful. All right. I would have preferred any of those other items to the one that we just got, but I guess beggars can't be choosers. It basically was a free item. <laughs> beggars can't be... I'm trapped! Beggars can't be choosers because we just had judgment. Get it? He's a beggar. Uh, I'm going to use a bomb here and get the spirit heart. So far... Oh, I thought that little Chad dropped that bomb closer to me. Towards me, or dragged the bomb closer towards me. Um, so far, I'm feeling pretty not great about the um, amount of damage that I've taken recently, and I think you can understand why. We should actually have some spirit hearts stored up by now, uh, considering that I have the miter, as well as mom's knife, which allows me to kill enemies incredibly quickly. Like mom, who just died in like two seconds there. Anyway, we're taking the Polaroid for sure, uh, and then we are going to take our real coin and see if we take the tears upgrade. Heads we take, tails we reroll, tails we reroll. Pentagram, this is ideal. I want to take this. And it's tails, so we're going to reroll that. It's uh, stem cells, still okay, I'll take that. Yes, I will, because it's heads this time. Unfortunately, I would have much preferred the pentagram, don't get me wrong, but again, we don't really have a choice in that matter. That is up to the random number generator. I'm going to take a sip of my coffee here. It's actually getting cold. This run went by longer than I expected. Too hot. Coffee's too hot. All right. So much for that getting cold. Also, it's been sitting in that cup for like 15 minutes. No, well, like half an hour at this point. How is it still so goddamn hot? Did I leave the heat on my desk on? Two of hearts is actually something that could be very useful for us. Sadly, we do not have a compass. So we're incapable of finding our way to the boss room easily, except by chance, but hopefully uh, that's how it's going to work out for us. We might as well check out the mob trap room. We have so many keys. If there's a golden chest inside, it would probably be worth opening up. There wasn't, but I had to continue that sentence even as we left the room and started backtracking to go elsewhere. So, we're going to come down here. And what do I hope for? Well, that was a really lucky uh, heart from the spirit heart from you. Uh, the, the bomb flies there. Green bomb flies. I still don't have a name for those guys, really. And I just took it on the chin. So, there's the spirit heart lost from those guys, but that's okay. Uh, what am I hoping to get here? We do have one cube of meat, so it wouldn't be the end of the world if we fought death. But I would still probably refer, prefer just some raw stats upgrades if possible. Uh, so, you know, a health upgrade, a pentagram, if we could get that again, would be beautiful. Um, I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm happy with what we've got so far. I kind of just feel like I need more health to make it happen. It would be awesome if we got a deal with the angel and managed to pick up, uh, you know, the relic in addition to the miter. Which would actually allow me to uh, have a decent amount of... Spirit Arts moving forwards. I mean, I, believe me. There we go. I fixed my foible. That's a nice speed upgrade. Uh, believe me. I know that the miter should be good enough to just give me enough health to survive to the end of the game. Especially with Mom's Knife. However, uh, you know, I'm playing very poorly right now. So it might be necessary for me to pick up a better item as well. Or another, an additional good item, I should say. So, that was quick. Uh, I'll just pick up this pill and take it quickly. Pills must have some serious mass. Tears upgrade. All right, I'll take it. Again, doesn't really matter all that much in the whole scheme of things with Mom's Knife, in my uh, experience, but I'd rather have the tears upgrade than not have the tears upgrade. We're definitely going to use a bomb and some keys here to open this chest, because we do have 99, thanks to Skeleton Key. We've got an extra Spirit Heart there, thanks to either the Miter or the generosity of the random number generator. Maybe. Judgment will find it in his heart to give us perhaps a compass here, which would save us a lot of time. I said perhaps a compass here, which would save us a lot of time. Golden key? I mean, that's something. It's unlikely we're ever going to be able to use it because we haven't come across any golden chests, but, you know, it's a thought that counts. Nuns have it. We can't take it. So step one, reroll. Reroll. We could take sacrificial dagger. I kind of don't want to. Here's our coin flip. It is tails. It's stigmata. That's a really good item. I would love to take that. It is Tails. It's Forget Me Now, we can't take. Little Gish, that's another good item I would absolutely love, especially for those later bosses. It's Heads, alright, so we're gonna take that. Hopefully you guys know I'm not cheating, because if I was cheating, I absolutely would have just taken uh, Stigmata. I wouldn't have effed around trying to get Little Gish. I actually probably still prefer Stigmata to Little Gish, even though Little Gish is great for those uh, endgame bosses. Oh, that was bad. Uh, because she actually allows us to... I was just trying to concentrate there for a second. She actually allows us to uh, slow... What? How did that happen so fast? 
Uh, she allows us to uh, slow their shots, which makes it much easier for us to actually dodge them. Well, we're going to try the same thing here, basically. Just bust open this, get some keys in there. And we get a rusty key, which we do not want because we have to hold the Polaroid. Might, rusty key is actually like the only trinket less useful than the Polaroid for us right now. Uh, because obviously we already have 98 keys and a golden key on like the third last floor in the game. So, again, almost did my like exact center dodge again. But instead ended up just running into an angel fetus like two seconds later anyway. More spirit hearts, please. Bombs and keys. Bombs may be worthwhile for the mom's heart boss fight, which we're basically fated to go to, I think, at this point. Even if I don't have a lot of health when I get there, I should be able to, to get to the mom's heart boss fight with some relative ease. Uh, we got more money and bombs. The money is pretty much worthless, because I doubt we're going to come across, like, 15 more judgments. Uh, but in doing so, we've got another tarot card, which is the Hanged Man. Not really that worthwhile compared to Two of Hearts, which could end up saving our life on one of these fights in the near future. So we're going to come up and to the right. And we've got to be almost there by this point. Just basically traded a key for a bomb, which is a fine trade in this situation. Then we're going to trade that bomb and two keys for another golden chest, which contains a, a bomb, a key, and a ton of money. Most of those are probably going to prove uh, completely worthless for me. This is actually not as difficult of a room as it may appear, believe it or not. There we go. We managed to get through there fairly easily. And we're going to be fighting uh, Utero 1. Who could we get here? It's Daddy Long Legs. Do we get Daddy Long Legs for this fight? If so, I'll be a happy man. And this fight is almost over, believe it or not. Can I actually kill him by hitting the legs? I don't think I've ever done that before. Well, we made it happen. Uh, we get Mom's Lipstick, which is a range upgrade. Is the internet back? Oops, Google Chrome cannot connect to random.org. There we go. It's a head. That might not, you might be thinking, well, I mean, why would I ever cheat and get a range upgrade? So, we'll just roll with that, uh, and then exit down to the next floor. I think the internet might be back. Again, more frustrating for me than it is for you, I promise you that. Because I have to deal with this shit on a daily basis. Or at least a, a thrice weekly basis at the worst possible times. But, you know, if the internet works, I would rather show it off. Uh, than just leave it up to question whether or not I, I'm legitimately flipping the coins. Uh, we're going to put a bomb here. We can't really go to the boss trap room unless we get incredibly lucky and there's a secret room right next to it. Seems unlikely given its position right now. It's just kind of tough. I hate the bomb flies with mom's knife. The temptation to get too close is uh, very visceral. Like I feel the pull. The sirens are calling me in. Just yeah, get right next to that bomb fly, Ryan. You can kill it so easily. No! Bomb fly siren. I don't want to do that. We do find a secret room here, though, which contains super greed. So we're going to boom ba doom get the fuck out of there. And without any compass, I'm, I'm kind of glad that we have what seems like a fairly linear level here, because, again, it's basically out of my hands with respect to picking a direction to go. So if I could actually hit this guy, I would be a happy camper. He tried to shoot a bomb there at the last second. Big mistake, motherfucker. Uh, we got double lust. Lucky guy. Not really, because I'm now trapped in the corner. Okay, we, we lost one spirit heart, but we could get poison touch. Nope. We do get a speed upgrade. Seems fitting, considering who we just fought. Extra money that, you know, could come in handy at some point if we come across 20 judgments before the end of the game. And that laser did not die in one shot, which is frightening. Took the knife on the chin and just kept coming. Gross. Uh, let's check downwards now. You never know. I might as well take every branch in the path. Just to see. I lost my, my nerve there at the last second. Probably could have killed the vaginal silkworm easily. I should just really, like, the ones that don't have bombs, I should just stand still and, and kind of let it happen. Because uh, they'll just walk into mom's knife and die instantly, I think. The majority of them, at least. That was a close call there. I think I got two of them. Is it just me or is little Gish firing, like, way faster than normal? Or does it normally have, like, an incredibly fast rate of fire? I don't think that it does. Uh, but it seems to in this situation. That was bad damage to take, but almost inevitable damage. As soon as I saw this room, I was like, Ah, oh, yeah, I'll be, uh, you know, leaving some hearts there. Making a donation to the Bank of Hearts. That was a surprising dodge. That was not a surprising dodge. Uh, we did get a Spirit Heart, though. There must have been, like, a, a hidden Tinted Rock in there. Believe it or not. There we go. One's dead. And now our life should be much, much easier. We'll probably get a Tarot card here. Well, some kind of Tarot card. It's Two of Diamonds. We might as well just pop that right away. Hold on to our Two of Hearts. And this is one, like, the longest mom's knife run I think we've ever had. I mean, part of that is because I was dealing with some technical issues, but... 
in any case. Let's drop some bombs. And in addition to dropping bombs, we're going to drop some knives in there. Bad day to be mom's heart. We should be able to kill Monstro very quickly. I mean, we're doing decent damage. I can't remember if we got any, like, straight damage upgrades, but we did get... Uh, oh, we, we have Rage. I totally forgot about that. That's going to make things easier for us. Not to mention, of course, the SMB Super Fan we got, like, on the first set of item rooms, which is going to save us a lot of problems. Excellent! So it's up to the next floor. I believe the Angel Room doesn't have anything in it. Again, time to take a hit of that sweet, sweet caffeine. Northern Line, you're always drinking coffee. Do you have a problem? Cut me some slack. It's early. It's only 11.30 a.m. here. Uh, we have some bombs, which we are going to take as well. And if there's no way that I can get Death to blow up these Tinted Rocks by himself, I believe. Please kill the... Oh, okay. First things first. Yeah, that guy's got to die. I botched it so hard. This guy's got to die so that he stops spawning zombies. Apparently, the zombies are unkillable. Thank you, horse. Okay, killed them both at once. We're going to get our Tinted Rock here, which hopefully contains two Spirit Hearts or a bomb and a key. You know, basically the same thing if you don't think about it too hard. Now we should one-shot all of these greeds. The neutral flies are the devil in the details here. Apparently I cannot hit anything. That's a serious problem as well. There we go. So now we'll just... Oh my god, I can't believe I took more damage against these fucking... Neutral flies, they're impossible. I couldn't see them because there's so much shit on my screen. Like all of my familiars following me around and Peeper's eye made, like, obscured my vision so I couldn't actually tell where the neutral flies were. Excuses, excuses, I shouldn't be taking damage against single flies at this point in my Isaac career. That much is for certain. I'm just gonna play it cool here. Single gist should be super easy. We've reached a dead end, but it's a dead end with the treasure chest. The treasure chest contains the riches of two cents and a red heart that I can't possibly use. I'm thinking this two of hearts card is gonna be incredibly valuable if he managed to somehow hold it all the way to the Isaac boss fight, or God forbid, the blue baby boss fight. Uh, on which we should be doing a lot of damage. I haven't been able to uh, do a coin flip recently. So hopefully we get the opportunity. We're going to do several coin flips if we actually get to the chest. So there's the spirit heart. That's a very beneficial uh, drop for judgment to give us here. Extra bombs. It doesn't really hurt, but it doesn't help either. Anything at all, judgment. I'll spend all day just feeding money in through your coin slot. Gross. Okay, so we got... <laughs> I lost a heart. But we got the HP upgrade. Are you working internet? Let's flip. Heads we take. Tails we... Tails we reroll. Okay. Compass. Just in time. Heads we take. Tails we reroll. That's tails. That sucks. Feather we can't take. Scapular we can take. I don't want to though. We flip it and it's heads. Awesome. Alright. Might give us a little bit of added protection as we move along. I know you guys are saying, Northern Line, you left some bombs back there. Don't worry, I'm gonna get the bombs. Did I totally- Oh, Peeper's Eye, you are just trolling the shit out of me right now. Thanks for finding the secret room, though. I appreciate that. Uh, we got a single key out of that, and it didn't even blow up the slot machine, which blows my mind, quite frankly. But moving on, should probably go back and get that, um, extra heart. Because there's no reason why not, I guess. Except that I hate backtracking, which is a... You know, universally known fact about Northern Lion at this point. Oh, I thought he was totally done shooting. So there goes our spirit heart. There's bomb flies out the ass right now. Which is the worst place to have bomb flies, believe me. Now, Loki dead, please. I feel like my language skills have devolved a little bit. Loki dead! Me, Northern Lion! Me, Isaac, 395! I, I think this might actually be 395. Never thought I would be here. We're well over one Isaac a day for a year now. But there was a period where I, I mean, I haven't, I've been playing Isaac for like a year and a half almost. So I guess there were a few days where I didn't upload Isaac, but man, those days are long gone, apparently. Uh, gotta keep up the momentum until Rebirth comes out. Keep the skills at least at a point where they're not terrible. Don't make the same mistake you made with Dark Souls and fall out of practice. Okay, so I'm trying to dodge here, but I'm also trying to do as much damage as frequently as possible with mom's knife. Obviously we're not going to get much rage built up here. I'm really hoping that uh, Gish can actually land some shots. Land some shots, 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 which should slow Isaac's shots down, thereby giving me a little bit of added protection. Sadly, it doesn't seem to be working out too well so far. Gish is having some problems. One more hit and I'm going to be using this two of hearts card, which is proving 
More valuable than one might have expected in the first place. Oh, don't dodge into the crack the sky. Okay. We know this is a problem. I am going to be able to build rage on these angel fetuses. Here we go. Drop the two of hearts card. And just don't take too much damage here. The angel fetuses part is, in my opinion, by far the hardest. But we should be able to, like, with two more direct hits, he'll die. Oh, only one, actually. And we got a spirit heart, which is better than getting a regular heart at this point. But we lost our spirit heart, which is worse than losing a regular heart at this point. Come on, just hit him. We're using a weapon that fires exactly straight ahead. It can't be that hard to aim. There we go. Got an extra half red heart. And it's down to the next floor, where we will be dealing with a lot of heads and tails here. Okay. That is speed and range. Here we go. Do it on an individual level. That's heads, we take. It did re-roll, or it did uh, flip the coin. You can look at the timestamp. Kamikaze, we can't take. Celtic Cross, we can. We're gonna flip it here. Random.org. 1942, 40, that seems right. We're gonna take it. Thank you, Celtic Cross. I've just gotta look at the timestamp next time. Okay, spider butt, we can't. Oh, I took it by accident. That's okay, we're just gonna put it back. Okay, re-roll. Game Kid, we can't take. Why am I just walking into it when I say I can't take it? Brain's totally fried. Bum friend, I definitely do not want this. 1942-46. And it's heads, we're gonna take it. What a time for a streak of heads. Teleport, we can't take. Ghost baby, we can. This would be alright. 4307. Yep, heads again. Four in a row. Never would have expected that. But here we go, anyway. Probably put this uh, random.org window away, finally. It's been a colossal pain in the ass, believe it or not. Might seem entitled, but... Doing Isaac videos with editing just doesn't feel right to me. It doesn't, it's not the natural order of things. I guess Vintage Isaac has a little editing in it, but that's kind of a different beast altogether, isn't it? Yep, uh, taking some pretty staggering damage here. One, the, the thing is, like, there's a very easy way to get success when you're close to it, uh, but not quite there. And the answer to that is, um, you know, getting a full health pill or a sun card. Oh, this is mini mush, so I guess we still have to use this. Let's see. Tails, we re-roll. Can't take. Mr. Boom, we can't take. Quarter, we can't take. This will be the worst. Come on, don't fuck with me, random. Okay, we're re-rolling again. Uh, Yum Heart. I'm just gonna pick this up for a second. Take one, and then put it back. Might be bending the rules a little bit, but I hope you understand why. We can't take it. Can't take. Halo of Flies would be interesting. Might help me out. Nope, we're re-rolling, of course. Luck Foot, pretty much garbage right now. And that means, of course, we're gonna take it. Awesome. <laughs> so, let's continue onwards. I'll get this mouse pointer off your screen. I know how annoying that is. So, let's prepare to lose any health that I picked up on the past few floors by fighting these champion Gertie Juniors. My favorite. One of these guys has got to be close to death. At least they kill their own grandfather flies. You killed your own grandfather fly? That sounds really mean. Uh, bunch of brain dudes again. Should be a fairly easy room here. Cube of Meat protected me from taking one hit of stupid damage, but not, not much more than that. Uh, and by fairly easy room, of course I apparently meant the hardest room mankind has ever fucking seen. Just destroy- there we go, that was not as easy as it should have been, all things considered. Thank you little- oh my god, okay, re- oh, I shouldn't have re-rolled it. I appreciate that, I'm just- I'm playing too fast and loose here. I apologize. So poison Touch, that would be awesome. That re-rolled. Yes, it did. Okay, we're taking Poison Touch then. That's alright. That could allow us to do some more damage against Blue Baby every time we get hit. Poison Touch, one of those items that, you know, has received, like, renewed vigor, thanks to Wrath of the Lamb, I would say. Renewed usefulness, if you will. Double Super Sloth in a dead end is a, uh, a shitty room to be faced with, unfortunately. But, you know, five or six Mom's Knife hits each. He's gonna destroy a lot of his own, uh, spiders, which is great for me. Managed to get out of there, which surprised me, and so did that one, actually. And there we go. We get a card. It's the Joker. We might as well just take that right away. Uh, Primstone and Spirit of the Night. I'm not going to take either of those because I need the health, as interesting as it would be. And now we don't have to do any backtracking, so that was awesome. Now, I think this is a Grandfather Fly creating champion here. It is indeed. Uh, I've taken some damage, which means we're just going to walk into these people. I forgot that I got Celtic Cross earlier. So that's going to help me out a good deal here, actually. Thank you to the slow and the poison damage for helping me not take too much damage. Double Monstro 2. At least they're regular Monstro 2s, which should actually allow me to do okay here. 
Oh, unless I walk into one, like, uh, or two, like a fucking idiot. That was pretty silly. Luckily, there is a half red heart available here. This has been a very strange run. Okay, double husk. Interesting dodge. Made it work, though. Now we're just gonna... Okay, one's dead somehow. I think Peeper's eye just, like, tore him up. Thankfully. Now just get a single mom's knife shot would, would end this fight right now. If I could actually hit him. But instead, I'm gonna leave it up to my familiars, apparently. Because I can't get close enough. There we go. More hearts, please. Nothing at all. Thanks, Ned Flanders. That exists in my head at all times. Uh, just hide in the corner here. Just stay... St just Occam's Razor this fight. Stand still most of the time. And only dodge when necessary. You're being a little too cute with your play right now. Don't need to impress anybody. You just need to beat the game at this... Okay, we're almost dead. Next hit will kill us. I just don't... I'm, I accept our death. I just don't want it to be on Loki. Okay, we're gonna survive. Even if it's the bomb fly, that's better. Just not Loki. Oh, we got a single red heart. Okay. Maybe I was, uh, the reports of my death have been exaggerated. I've totally botched that quote. That was an impressive dodge. Inevitably, I'll follow it up with one of the worst dodges you can possibly imagine fairly soon, but... In the whole scheme of things, that actually went surprisingly well. Got a little bit of weird slowdown there. There must be like a hundred spiders on the screen. Now just use the knife as a protection. There you go. Let the spiders come to you most of the time. We got another half heart. Believe it or not, that does mean something as it gives us another hit that we can survive. Do we have a chance against Blue Baby? Fuck no. <laughs> We're basically screwed. However, uh, you know, maybe we'll come across... Uh, took some damage there. Maybe we'll come across uh, that mythical item that will, that will just reverse our fortunes. Which is absolutely necessary right now. If we're going to have any chance of winning the game. Troll Bomb! That is the longest, the world's furthest traveling Troll Bomb. Okay, Mr. Mega we can take. So let's see here. We're going to re-roll it. I didn't want it, but we could have taken it. Uh, Lifesteal might help us out here a little bit. Oh my god, I, did it, I think it flipped. The internet's so slow right now, so we're re-rolling. Attack Fly, don't really want it. I believe it flipped again. So we're gonna choose poison bombs. Sure, okay. Yep, we're gonna reroll it again. This is unsatisfying, is what this is. Lard. Oh my god. We're gonna reroll it again. Are you fucking kidding me? Polyphemus. Thank you, game. I appreciate it. Does this beat Lard? I don't know, but at least you know somebody up there likes me. Our damage is gonna be crazy. Mom's knife, Polyphemus rage. Let's test it out on Gertie. Well, yes, our damage is out of control. Now we just need some health, and this game is over, in a good way, believe it or not. Uh, oh, I probably should have stayed in that room a little bit longer to see if we succeeded. Thankfully, Scapular is actually going to hook us up with an extra Spirit Heart, which is beneficial right now. There's another Spirit Heart. There was a heart in this room. It was only a half heart, but still. Um, and now we see what we get from this. Again, we're obviously going to have to reroll Mr. Boom regardless. We're going to have to reroll the Shears. We're going to have to... No, we don't have to reroll Infestation. Yes, we do. <laughs> Can't take the pills. Dead bird. Don't really want it, but we'll see. Oh, we're gonna take it. Never mind. What I meant to say is I love dead bird. And this is risky, but we're gonna actually explore more rooms in the hope of uh, finding some more health. I know it sounds a little crazy, uh, but we're doing so much damage, and we've only got one more room to explore, I guess, uh, that, you know, even getting a single extra red heart dramatically improves our chances of success. Well, time to put my money where my mouth is, I guess. Our damage against Blue Baby is going to be out of control. The only question is whether or not I'm going to be capable uh, of dodging enough shots to possibly survive. Got to remember, every time I get hit, walk in, drop a bomb, poison touch. We're both at about half health now. And if we win, this will be some against all odds shit right here. Wow, we're going to make it happen. I can't believe it. We actually succeeded. That is incredibly surprising to me, but in any case, thank you to everyone. Continue suggesting your challenge runs. I apologize for the weird mechanical and technical glitches that happen here. It's out of my control. There's nothing I can do. I apologize. Again, take it up with Shaw Internet. But in any case, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.